Hey everybody, uh, Sunoco Buddha here. Um, I got a couple um, Topps Living boxes from Topps uh, yesterday, and I thought I'd do a quick, short opening video. If no one's ever seen how Topps Living comes, um, I've got a baseball Topps Living, and I do believe a Star Wars Living. Um, really nice cards. I'm not sure who, I'm sure that this one's probably a brewer, but I can't remember who from Star Wars they ordered. So, um, they usually come in a bubble mailer and then uh, the boxes come wrapped in uh, these little uh, bubble packs. And if you're careful, you can save these. And these are, these are handy, um, you know, you can save those and reuse them, which I do, so, but. Here's what the Top Living baseball box looks like. Nothing uh, crazy. Um, you know, Tops has been doing this for like three years now, so uh, at least they changed the copyright. But the boxes, I don't think have changed. Um, come on. And inside the box, you got a little spacer. And then a little jewel case, um, pretty typical. Uh, I only ordered one card, but um, you know, they also come with two pieces of foam inside each of the jewel cases. Uh, and these are actually great. These hold a uh, a wax pack, like you know, pre ninety two, basically. Um, really well so if you if you do or if you collect um, you know wax packs it's kind of a nice uh, protection there oh yeah so I got the new Brewers Top Living Brandon Woodruff very nice and my uh, Brewers Living set which I think I have just about all of them now and let's see who we got from the Star Wars Again, uh, typical box. Uh, this one's even less ornate than the baseball, um, but nothing crazy. Sparing no expense for the collector tops is. Same inside, you got a little spacer. Um, and I keep these too. These work good for um, putting in boxes or whatever. Looks like I only ordered one card. Oh, and it's the Katie Sekoff Bo Katan card, yeah. Working on my Mandalorian set, so um, really nice. I think I'd have to look back through the checklist, but I think they'd already issued a Bo Katan, but it was from. Uh, Rebels, I think, or maybe uh, uh, Clone Wars, but really nice. Uh, and if you're a Mandalorian fan like I am, it's a great addition. Um, these are seven ninety nine for a single, and then if you buy in bulk, they get a little bit cheaper. Uh, they also get cheaper if you buy the pair that's issued. I think it's eleven ninety nine uh, for one of each, so they get down to about six bucks a piece. Um, but uh, Tops just started adding uh, a new artist for living. Uh, Miami Seto is only going to be doing one card a week now. And then uh, I can't remember the name of the other artist off the top of my head. But you can go to Tops.com and check them out. Um, Blake, Blake Jameson is going to be starting to do a new uh, four-wave set two based off the 1951 Tops game cards. Um, that's been advertised, so that'll be kind of neat to see too. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.